What is up, Zoomers? Matteo here. Kind of different video here today because we're going to be talking about something that is close and near and dear to your hearts and minds. We're going to be talking about TikTok and why you may soon be no longer able to see your favorite creator lip sync to a niche movie reference. And it might get me in trouble should I ever decide to uh, visit China. So a little disclaimer, this video expresses the situation to the best of my understanding. Do your own research, come to your own conclusions. Now that that disclaimer is out of the way, there's been a lot of talk recently about the United States government banning TikTok. But don't worry, if you live in another country, it'll be likely banned there too eventually. And it's already started. India and China have been fighting like two wolves going after the last piece of steak on earth recently. And they've been having skirmishes on their border. Like literally these guys, I'm not even kidding with this, they're, they're picking up big pieces of wood and hitting each other because they're not cleared to like, you know, actually do anything. So they're just hitting each other with wood and it's crazy. But because of that, because they've been fighting on the border, never much of a surprise when India declared that they were going to ban a metric truckload of Chinese made apps from all phones in their country. 59 apps were banned in total. Most of them you don't really hear about. Nobody's ever using them because they're mostly Chinese language or they're apps that just don't appeal to most people. But one of them, one of them is one of the biggest apps in all of America. One of them was TikTok. And the Indian government accused TikTok of collecting data on their users and sharing that with the communist regime of China. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Matteo here, just interrupting the video for a sec to say, if you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And as a growing creator, there is nothing better to see than likes and subscribe. Subscribers. So thank you so much. I'll talk to you down in the comments section below. I do respond to almost all comments. Let's get back to the video. Now, of course, here on the Matteo channel, we are good old red-blooded God-fearing Americans. And I think I would honestly prefer if the totalitarianist communist regime that has a history of human rights abuses didn't know everything about me. I know what you're probably asking. Is there any evidence to actually back up India's claims? Is TikTok spying on people? And the short answer to that is, yeah, probably. But you don't have to take that from me. Forbes magazine posted an article titled, Warning, Apple Suddenly Catches TikTok Secretly Spying on Millions of iPhone Users. And in that article, they basically say that Apple had updated iOS, and in that new update, users were alerted whenever an app secretly accessed the clipboard on their device, and TikTok was snooping on all of your clipboards. TikTok denied it and said it wasn't their fault, but the skeptic in me thinks that uh, they're just trying to cover them for themselves because they got caught. Now, if they're accessing and storing data from your clipboard, that might not sound like the end of the world. Why do you care if TikTok knows the last couple thousand things you've copied and pasted? Why do you care if the Chinese government knows the last couple things you copy and pasted? Honestly, what do you copy and paste that much? I don't know. All I do know is that in China, they have a very different way of doing things. They have a social credit score system where they determine the rights that you have as a person based on the information that their government stores about you. So you might just want to try not to worry about the dystopian future straight out of Black Mirror and just keep posting those TikToks. Seriously though, I'm not going to lie, I don't have TikTok on my phone anymore. I won't tell you to remove it. But that might not be your choice for much longer. And honestly, you might be in the in the right if you do remove it. Because President Trump's administration announced that they're worried about the Chinese government using the app to spy on Americans. The Secretary of State said that by using the app, you are putting your information in the hands of the Chinese Communist Party. And Trump later confirmed that we might be facing a TikTok ban nationwide. I'll be honest, I don't really know how the US government can ban an app countrywide. Probably with sanctions or something. But this is a YouTube drama channel, so you can get that info from somebody else. Now, of course, the reason that that we're talking about TikTok is because as a YouTube channel, we get kind of affected when other platform shuts down. Remember Vine? Everybody remembers. When Vine shut down, YouTube took in those refugees. All of those content creators and all those people looking for content, they came to YouTube. And that influx gave us some of YouTube's favorite family-friendly creators that they love to put in rewind. Like our hero, Lele Pons. I'm just kidding. I don't like Lele Pons. They did bring over some good people like Cody Ko and Danny Gonzalez and that other guy who looks just like Danny Gonzalez. But TikTokers, I just feel like it's different with TikTokers. I feel like TikTokers aren't really the type of comedy that was allowed that to like prosper on Vine because TikTok's much more of like a musically type thing where people are singing, they're lip syncing to stuff that's being said in like a, a movie or something or a YouTube video. And all of that stuff on YouTube would get copyright claimed. So <laughs> they can't do that on YouTube. It's going to get content ID struck. If I put in a song for even a couple seconds in this video, it would be content ID struck and some company out there would be making money on my video, even though I can't make money on the whole channel yet because I don't have enough watch time. So all I'm saying, is TikTok stuff does not translate to YouTube very well. So what, what would they do if they came over here? Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. They'd probably do comedy like Lele Pons. And we could see that kind of starting with the new hospital show that the a bunch of TikTokers all came together to make. Now, I don't pretend to be up to date with the hottest TikTok stars, but I know that they started this hospital drama and I know that we're going to be doing a video on it soon. And I figure that a lot of the TikTok creators, if they're forced to move to YouTube, would end up doing something like that. 
However, there's also the chance that there's apps like uh, Byte, I think it was, and Byte was basically a Vine ripoff. It's kind of dead right now. I downloaded it on the day it came out. It's very dead. Nobody posted anything. There was no hype. And TikTokers could move there, in which case that would be good for the YouTube ecosystem because the last thing we need is another couple 17-year-old prank channels. I wouldn't be surprised even if TikTok goes down, if an American company makes something. But we are also kind of faced with the, if TikTok's banned in the United States, do TikTokers keep creating content on TikTok and then just upload that to YouTube? How would that work? Because technically speaking, you can still download TikTok. That's, that's true. Even if the US government bans it, you can download it onto like Android devices and jailbroken iPhones. You can go find the actual files for it and still download and use it like normal. It, as long as TikTok servers are still up, which they may not be if they close down in America. I don't really know. It's kind of a dangerous thing because we don't really want to see a massive influx of these people coming to YouTube. At least I don't, just because of how bad it is for the YouTube community. Every time that a bunch of people, an influx comes in, they take the spotlight, they take up all the spots on trending, YouTube tries to encourage them while discouraging their own creators. And it makes sense because they have an established brand, but it's still kind of like really bad for growing creators like myself. Overall though, it's a little bit of a catch-22, because if TikTok gets banned, then all the TikTokers come over to YouTube, and I kind of get more content, so I do kind of want TikTok to get banned, because if they come over, I get a much more content, YouTube gets kind of worse for a little while, the community, all the people on it, it gets a little worse for a little bit, but I get more content, so I'm not 100% sure what we should do. What I do know is that I, personally, don't want to take the risk with TikTok on my phone anymore. And I would, I'm not going to tell you not to use it, but I will say that it's kind of risky. There's other stuff out there talking about what they, data they could be collecting, location data, they could be collecting basically anything. God knows, you give them microphone access and camera access so you can record your TikTok, so it's not good. And I do kind of think it will be banned, and I do kind of think it'll be bad, but I also think there'll be some upsides. Not really upsides for everybody, just upsides for the fact that I'm a drama commentary channel. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Do you think it'll be a good thing if all the TikTokers move over? Do you think that TikTok should be banned? Are are you worried about your data being collected by the Chinese Communist Party? I'm a little worried about all the stuff that they could have collected on people. And they could use that to blackmail people. They're not above it. They've done it before in the past. So anyway, let me know down below. Hey guys, update. Big update. As I was editing this video, I found out that the United States House of Representatives has voted to ban federal employees from having TikTok installed on any devices owned by the federal government. And that the Senate, the United States Senate, will be voting on the same thing in a couple days. If they both pass it, then that means that it would go to the president. The president would probably sign it since he doesn't seem to like TikTok. And then basically TikTok will be banned from any federal owned device in the country. At least that's my understanding. I don't really know how many people that affects, how many government employees are on TikTok. I know a couple senators are actually, so maybe. Regardless, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching this late. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, and I want you to have a wonderful day. God bless you.